Hey friends, it's Carly and today I want to share a card that makes me happy because it is a rainbow snowflake Christmas card. Now to create my rainbow snowflakes, I need some rainbow cardstock to die cut. So I'm going to make it with a quick watercolor using Distress Oxide inks. I've got some watercolor cardstock and I'm just giving my ink pads a quick smoosh onto my nonstick craft sheet to use as my watercolor palette. Then I'm going to do a quick and messy watercolor because it doesn't really matter what this panel looks like since I'm going to cut it into snowflakes. But I do want some of each color. I want a little bit of blending in between and I don't want any muddy mixing because no one wants brown snowflakes. <laughs> so here's what the panel looks like when it's done. I'm going to set it aside to dry and work on my card front. Now the card front, I'm going to stamp the Ho 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 sentiment from the Season to Sparkle stamp set in black and kind of right off the edge. Then off camera, I've cut a bunch of those snowflakes from my rainbow panel and I've kind of laid them out in a wreath pattern, but then I realized I want to inlay some of them. So I cut that panel with three of the big snowflakes. Then I'm going to pull out the white snowflakes, set them aside for another project. And then I'm going to glue this panel onto a card so I can inlay those die cuts. So to adhere them, I've got tape around the edges, but I'm also going to put some liquid glue around the negative snowflake die cuts that we've got there because I don't want them to pull up. I want them to be really good and stuck down. And then for the tape, I like to remove just a piece of the liner paper on one side so I can go really slow and make sure everything is all even and lined up. And then once the first piece is down, it's easy to remove the rest of those liner papers. And for my next snowflake card, I think I might stop here because it's really pretty with just a few negative snowflake die cuts. Um, it would be really cute with the white Christmas sentiment from that Season to Sparkle set. But I've got rainbow snowflakes to use up, right? <laughs> so I'm going to put some liquid glue in that negative snowflake space and then put those rainbow snowflakes in there. And once I've got those three inlaid, then I just have to arrange the rest of my snowflakes and adhere. So I'm using a glue pen for all of this um, because it's easy and it's always on my desk. <laughs> but another really good and easy way would have been to use some stick it adhesive on the back of my rainbow panel before I cut out all the snowflakes because then they would be like stickers. So that would be so easy. And then lastly, I'm applying a little faux black splatter with a Copic marker and my cart is finished. So thank you so much for watching. You can find more information in the video description, including a link to the Honeybee blog. Happy crafting.